My name is Dr. Ahmed Tawahir. I'm a kidney specialist working at the Parklands Kidney Center. My main interests are treating people with diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease. Well, uh, the kidneys are very important organs in the body. They have several functions. Uh, one is to remove excess uh, uh, fluids from the body. The others are removing uh, poisons, uh, which are uh, byproducts of uh, digested food. And others are to control the balance of uh, electrolytes in your body, like the calcium and the potassium, and to remove excess acid from your body. And the kidneys are also uh, con involved with the production of red blood cells in your body. The most important causes in our setup are things like infections, inflammatory disorders, uh, diabetes and hypertension are probably becoming very important causes. And other diseases like uh, lupus can also cause kidney diseases. Sometimes you might be born with abnormal kidneys that will eventually present as kidney failure in the future. Repeated urinary tract obstruction, urinary tract infections can cause kidney diseases. In the elderly, a common cause of kidney disease is enlarged prostate causing obstructive kidney disease. Unfortunately, kidney disease usually is silent. So many people can have kidney disease without knowing. So it is recommended that everybody at least once a year or once every two years should have their uh, should have a medical checkup to look out for kidney disease because if you can catch kidney disease early it can actually be prevented from pro progressing to kidney failure. At a late stage uh, the symptoms of kidney failure are swelling of the body, swelling of the face, feeling tired, uh, passing a lot of urine especially at night but in the advanced stages you might find that you're not even passing any urine other symptoms are difficult in sleeping, uh, itching or scratching of your body. So these are uh, some of the symptoms of kidney disease, although as I said, it might be a silent disease. Preventive measures is uh, looking at the causes of kidney disease. As I said, the major causes of kidney disease are diabetes, hypertension and infections. So avoiding these would help prevent you from getting kidney disease. But let's say if you already have diabetes and high blood pressure, then what you can do is to make sure that your diabetes is very well controlled, make sure that your high blood pressure is very well controlled, and this will go a long way into slowing down your kidney uh, disease progression. There are some certain medications that are now being used that can slow down the progression of kidney disease. Unfortunately, we do not have a cure for kidney diseases. So all we can do is really to slow down the progression or to try to prevent it before it's occurred. So what, and there are very simple measures really to uh, look out for. One is to check your urine for protein. Two is to have your blood pressure checked. And three is to have your blood sugar checked in case uh, you are diabetic and you don't know. And also a simple blood test to determine whether you have kidney disease is called a serum creatinine. And from this, you can actually determine the percentage of your kidneys. So I, I urge that a lot of people should have this simple test done to be able to detect whether they have this disease, which can be silent, as I mentioned earlier. The importance of kidney transplant. Many people with kidney disease, if they, it progresses to kidney failure, will require a kidney transplant. In fact, a kidney transplant is the best thing somebody with kidney failure can have. It can be done locally. Kenyatta National Hospital can do kidney transplant, Nairobi Hospital, Aga Khan Hospital. We have the technology, we have the know-how, we have the manpower to do kidney transplants and we're doing kidney transplants regularly and they're very successful. Before somebody's done a kidney transplant, they might go through a transitional period where as they're looking for the donor and they have kidney failure, they require some form of treatment and this is called dialysis. Dialysis is a way of cleaning your blood using a dialysis machine where your blood passes through a filter, uh, it's pumped through a filter and then it's pumped back to your body. This is called hemodialysis. There's another method called peritoneal dialysis which doesn't require a machine, it can be done manually uh, even in the absence of uh, electricity. 
the method is involves putting a tube into your abdominal cavity, introducing fluid, leaving it for a period of time, and then expelling the fluid. And this has been shown to uh, really do a very good job in, cl in cleaning the, the body of its toxic products and can give you a good lifespan as you're waiting for the kidney transplant to be done.